Okay, now let's go over to the Mastercraft Kitchen and check in with our stand-in chef who's doing an outstanding job, Tim Reed. I bet you can use chopsticks, Tim. Yeah, yeah, I can. I struggle at times. It's often one of those things where you kind of get better by the end of the meal and then you've got to give them back. Exactly. <laughs> hey, so what are you making for us today? Today I'm making a tamarillo custard tart. It's one of those amazing things that you can have in winter. Uh, tamarillo is an amazing winter fruit, so I thought why not use it? I'm going to line this pastry dish with some pastry. Makes sense, doesn't it? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Well, it's, it's that special pastry that you made before. Yeah. Again, uh, just get rid of that plastic that I used to line my pastry sheet. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and I thought I'd show you today, I used pastry a little bit last week. Gosh, we're falling a bit apart a bit here. But um, I used pastry a bit last week, and I thought I'd show you how I do it. So I use one uh, sheet of pastry. Usually, that doesn't fall apart. You do it yeah. like me. Yeah. <laughs> we'll just make it work, right? Yeah. Yeah. That's the beauty with you, Tim. You just make it work. <laughs> Mark would. $10. <laughs> <laughs> oh, gosh. Keep it real. Um, and 10 bucks says it's going to work like this at home. We make it always look good on TV, don't we? But sometimes it doesn't go to plan. Uh, and then I just get strips, right? Yeah. Yeah. And just whack them in. And it's a bit like a jigsaw puzzle. And it looks horrific right now, let's be honest. Wait um, there's no magic of TV here. <laughs> but by the time we get these strips in, and uh, we're going to put custard straight on here. We're not going to blind bake it today, none of that today. Uh, you won't even know it's going to taste the same, and we'll be fine. So what I'm going to do is I'll finish patching this up. And, uh, and come back to me, and I'll show you how to do the custard filling with the beautiful tamarillos, and we'll bake it soon. Tim has been filling in for Mark, who's overseas at the moment, and hasn't he been doing a fantastic job, everybody? <laughs> yes. Thank Food you. has been on point. Um, but I tell you what, before we go any further and talk about your Tamarillo tart today, let's talk about Mark's journey, because he sent us some pictures. I think he's just showing off, actually. <laughs> Me too. Uh, so that's him, and he's obviously having a bit of time out with the family in the spa. Thanks, Mark, Thank for sending you. that show off. Uh, but what's he eating here? Is that What is that, you reckon, Tim? Is it uh, crab? Yeah, it I think like it's, it's crab. Chilli oh, crab. Yeah, there we go. There's a leg. Yeah, and he's catching up with one of his old friends there that's also a, um, a uh, chef. And what's that one? That's curry. Is that curry? Yeah, curried sausage, I think. Curried sausage. Okay. Well, he's, British. He's flown halfway around the world <laughs> to try some curried sausage. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. Keep those photos coming in, Mark. And don't worry, because Tim is doing a fine job here in the Mastercraft <laughs> kitchen. Okay, let's crack into it. So it's another tart. This is obviously your go-to dessert, isn't it? Yeah, it seems to be in winter. It's, I love things like baked fruit. Uh, any kind of baked dessert in winter is, is awesome. With a bit of uh, vanilla ice cream, you yeah. can't really go wrong, Ooh, can you? Nice. So I'm going to get you busy again. Yes. And I'm going to let you use a knife today. OK. Uh, we're, uh, yeah. <laughs> we'll get there, though. We'll get there. Uh, what I want you to do is spoon out uh, the flesh from the tamarillos. Yes. And we're just going to be whacking that in the tart. But because these are quite nice and big, mm -hmm. uh, we'll cut that up a little bit first. So you get onto that. OK. And I'll make a custard. Right. Do you want to... Do you know? No, can you show me okay. what we're right. So yeah. basically what we're doing is we're just getting a spoon there like you... Like yeah. a Fijo or anything yeah. else? Oh, yeah. Look at that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right. And then what we'll do is we'll just cut that into quarters oh, and whack it in. Oh, I see. I right. you wanted me to cut this part up. Oh, we'll no, no, no. no we'll leave this. Tough. Yeah. Okay. We'll leave the skin. All right. Okay. <laughs> you see, you don't want to put that in your dessert, do you? <laughs> Mind you, tell you what, I've got to the point sometimes where I eat them like apples, so I'll keep doing that for you. All right. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to make the custard. So I've got cream here. Yeah. All right. That's about uh, half a cup. So that's just going to go in there. All right, mm. and some flour. This is quarter of a cup of flour, and so by the time I whisk this in here, it's going to get nice and thick. We don't want to whisk the cream too much, right? Um, but we're going to whack it in there, oh. and it should look a little bit like that. By the time we finish, though, it'll be nice and thick. Just look at these tamarillos, though. They're incredible. I mean, beautiful, aren't they? Absolutely fantastic. Just beautiful and juicy. Are they in season at the moment? Yeah, they are. Right. They are. Um, I found out they're usually called tree tomatoes everywhere okay. else in the world, but yeah. New Zealand decided to change the name a bit pre-me, 1960s or something like that. Uh, yeah, and so now they're called tamarillos here because they wanted them to sound a bit more exotic. Some people don't like tamarillos, but I really Yeah, I think them. Mel's one, so isn't she? You don't yeah. like tamarillos there, Mel? I just had an experience with them once when I had my, my tonsils out when I was little, and, I had, mm -hmm. and then I had them straight after that, and so they stung. So, oh. so I have to be convinced that they're a good thing again. <laughs> well, this is an easy dessert to do with uh, any fruit. I mean, you could buy the, uh, the frozen berries that you get at the supermarket, anything like that. Um, stewed fruits, all of that. You kind of want it to be soft, otherwise you're going to have crunchy bits in your tart. 
Okay. Yeah. Um, what, what have you done there? Oh, sorry. So I've just uh, I've just added a couple of eggs. Are you right? Yeah. No, yeah. No, 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 <laughs> making a mirror. If that's what, that's <laughs> You're what right. Mean. Yep. Mmm. You going to double dip that spoon? No. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Always got your eye on yeah, yeah, I do, I do. Okay, so, you keep watching. The, so this is like what we did last time with the chocolate. Yeah, powder, basically. Yeah. Uh, where's my, here's my little spatula. Um, and then I've got uh, some vanilla paste that mm -hmm. I'm just going to throw in there. Right. I've got some lemon, and I'm going to use the rinder. Yep. Chuck some lemon rind in there, and a bit of sugar. Okay, so this is the classic really base, isn't it? That you yeah, need for your totally. Tart. Totally. And then, uh, and then, actually, it might sound a bit odd, but we're going to add a pinch of salt. And what? that's just going to bring out the flavours of the tamarillo and the lemon that we've got in there. All right. <laughs> I think we've probably got enough there. So okay. what we might do... <laughs> it won't come out. Okay, there it is. It's out. All right. We'll just give it a rough hack. Yeah. Okay, good. All these are left over for me, too. Yeah, there we that's go. Good. And I'm just going to pour that all in there. Mm. They're good, eh? Oh, that is so good. Yeah, the tartness of the tamarillo, the creaminess of the custard. All right, and by the time I finish whisking this... OK. And we're going to put that over, and we're obviously going to put it in the oven. We'll come back finish it off very soon. In the Mastercraft kitchen, you are doing a fantastic job. Over to you, Holly. Well, he won the prize of MasterChef winner last year, so what did you do with all of the winnings, Tim? What did I do with the winnings? Yeah. I'm driving them. Oh. Yeah, I, I got a car, so... Uh, oh, nice. Yeah, yeah, shooting around in a ute at the moment. Nice. Yeah. And how's yep. your tart looking? Uh, tart's finished, so that's good. Basically, uh, after Mike left, we just whacked it in the oven for about 25 minutes and uh, waited until it didn't have a wobble, and now we're done, so... That looks good, by yeah. the way. Too. Yeah, thank you. It's nice and golden on top, just what we like, and hopefully my tart this week doesn't fall apart. Oh, yeah. See, I think if anything's going to convince me that I like Tamarillo's, it's your tart... She's still a bit hot out of the oven. So you've got a couple of options. Options You can eat it straight away, yeah. or you can leave it in the fridge, and uh, and then you can sprinkle some icing sugar on it. But for so the sake of tonight... Bring it on. Bring it on over. Nice work. Oh, I can't wanna... wait to taste that. Don't burn yourself. Yeah, I know. But I want it hot, and I want it now. Yeah. <laughs> no pressure. <laughs> but I'm not happy with that. Oh, yeah. Cutlery. While you're bringing it over, what are you doing tomorrow for us? Tomorrow I'm doing roast pork and fennel. Have what? a great night. Take care. I'm going to go and eat some tarts. Okay. Yeah. Really good. So good. 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 Yeah. Okay.